And welcome to vlog 112, my wonderful viewers. I am the audiophile barista, and in these vlogs I talk about audio, coffee, and other things that keep me busy. There is a vlog every other week, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any. Today's weather in Rotterdam is cloudy, windy, sunny, and we had a lot of rain this morning, so it's a bit of everything. Today I've got some interesting topics for you. But first, let's make some coffee. Espresso coming from the hand presso. I think that you have to pump up to get pressure. A nice little thing. This is actually the machine from my girlfriend. This is what she uses at home. I have it here because I want to give it a comparison to the AeroPress. Let's have a taste. You know, and I'm telling you guys, this little thing makes a absolutely wonderful cup of coffee. It uses these kind of pads that you put in there, as I just showed you. And um, this is great stuff. If you're not a big fan of making coffee, drinking coffee, but you have guests every now and then that you would like to give a good cup of coffee, consider this thing. The pads are easy to keep, so this is actually quite a nice way to give your guests a nice cup of coffee, even if you're not a coffee drinker. Let's move on with the vlog. Okay, so the title of this vlog is Am I going to sell my Itos equipment? You know I love this stuff. But there is a reason why I might be selling these. Let me change the camera setup and I will tell you all about it. Okay, so the downside of having a channel like this is having a lot of equipment and always bringing stuff up and down and up and down and sometimes you don't want to bring it down again so it accumulates over here on top. So I'm going to tell you what it is that is standing here and I'm going to tell you why I might be selling my 
ITOS equipment. Okay, so let's start with my main loudspeaker. This is the Ocilia Calliope Dot 21. This is a 98 dB 16 ohm loudspeaker. It is a broadband system. So this is actually the broadband. It takes care of all the frequencies. And in this case, it has a super tweeter connected to it, but this is not a two way loudspeaker. And these are of course my ITOS power amps. I love these things, but at almost 40 years old, they started giving me some problems as those of you that follow me already know. I have the actual designer and builder of these amps as my repair guy, so you can't get any better, but he's not cheap. And lately I was wondering if I wanted these recurring costs in the future. And as it happened, I found an ad on Craigslist, what we call Marktplatz, where someone was actually looking for this setup. So I got into contact and if he is willing to pay my price, I think I will be selling these amps soon. Now that is going to be a sad day because I really love these amps and they are the perfect match for my Ocilias, but maybe it's time to move on. So to be continued. Okay, so this is actually the next day of filming. As you can see, I completely rebuilt my original setup, the ITOS power amps over here and the ITOS preamp over there. The aim of course was to listen because this is really a difficult decision that I have to make. Am I going to get rid of my ITOS equipment? So I wanted to listen to it. Also for the new buyer I wanted to make sure that everything is okay and everything is okay but in trying out if everything works I also, as you can see here, there's two red LEDs. One is for the preamp section, one is for the phono amp section, because I also have a turntable. So yesterday I realized, but I'm also going to lose a wonderful, wonderful phono amp. This is really a very good amp. And if we look inside here, I hope you can see the shimmer of the tubes. But this part over here is the preamp part. This part over here is the MM stage. And this part over here is the MC stage. So as you can see, most of the box is because of the phono amp. This means that if I'm going to get rid of my ITOS, I need to find a new partner for my Ocilias, because this is a perfect match. 16 ohm, 16 ohm. And I need to find a new phono preamp or an amplifier with a good phono amp in there. So that made me realize, oh, and I'm trying to sell the Piegas. So if I'm selling my Itos and my Piegas and maybe some other stuff, then maybe I have enough funds to buy some new equipment. I was even thinking, well, because this is the perfect match, maybe I should get rid of these also and start all over again, which would be an interesting thing also for the channel, also for me. But yesterday listening, I thought, well, how am I going to get this level of sound with the money I generate from selling the uh, ITOS power amps, even though maybe it's going to cost a lot of money in the coming years, maybe they completely break down in three months. So this could also be a good time to sell them because they are old, 40 years old. But the realization that I also need to get a good phono preamp because I do have a lot of records made me rethink. Let me play a little bit of vinyl. I'm going to chop up the sound, of course, just give you a little idea of what it sounds like. Hey, little George Benson. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's finish up this vlog for the second time. Today is Friday, a bird flying by. Today is Friday. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.